and welcome back to my channel. I'm with Rose Gallagher, Mixed Gems Beauty, amazing blogger, professional makeup artist. She's a bit of a beauty insider. She is to make up what I'm into skincare, obviously. Look at that gorgeous makeup. And I've been waiting to get my hands on Nadine for ages and she's promised me I can do her makeup tonight before dinner. But what we are going to do is I'm going to get her back into my little studio. We're going to take all this off. And start She's going to do my makeup. She's going to yeah. Instagram me. She's going to make me Instagram worthy, which I'm definitely not. Anyway, today we are at Look Fantastic Premiere 2018, which has been this amazing hub of all the brands that look fantastic. But I just thought I'd grab the chance to ask her five makeup must-haves, because you are the makeup maven, right? And we're very And I've made her, start. she came in with a suitcase full of makeup and I made her choose five things. <laughs> so basically we were up early this morning, got the train from London, and I, I never get up early if it means that I've just got to get my makeup on. I'd rather do it on public transport any day of the week. Um, and these are some of the go-to things that I would always have. Um, and I'm excited so, to see that at least two of them I also love. Absolutely. So I'm going to start with It Cosmetics CC Cream. So I am the UK ambassador for It Cosmetics, which I'm really proud to be. How that journey kind of came about was I've got really red skin and I always used to use the CC cream um, to cover it. And then I really got to know the brand that way. But if you suffer with redness or any kind of skin concern, that is five, not even five minute five second job all over full coverage glowy amazing i mean i know you love this as well is that the normal one the is normal it? one we've both got it on yeah see different finishes yeah different ages and different it's... decades do you know what, what color are you i'm medium tan i wear medium but i do go a bit aspirational because i'm What's definitely a not a medium What's a bit aspirational i've got a bit of tan on i'm probably going to put a bit more on before dinner okay. so All right. but they, okay. they're kind of adapting you can now start also i don't know if you know this but it comes in three different finishes so it now comes in a matte finish which yeah. i didn't get on with but if you've got really oily skin you love yeah and then for example, Re loves the illumination. illumination. I didn't like that. It didn't work on my skin. Illumination, I would always switch to if, say, if I was going somewhere and taking loads of selfies. They've all got SPF in them, so they're not for flash photography. But if you're taking selfies and you wear the I illumination have... one, oh my God, You your say skin. that right. Okay, so they've got an SPF 50 in them. It's a mineral SPF. It's the only SPF I wore all summer. It completely protected my skin. Zero flashback. Well, to be honest, I find the same, but if it was, you know, but your you're wedding day or something, I don't want to put someone in a position where they're going to have an opposite effect, okay. but I get away with it. I use it all the time. And Jo Jones loves it, and she's... Yes, I've seen How her. How old are you? With her. I'm 28. My mum uses it oh, and she's 68. 68. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Joe Jones is in her 40s, so it's perfect. Yeah, it really does suit everybody. And by the way, I eavesdropped on you today. How many more shades is it coming out in? Five more shades are coming um, at some point, hopefully before Christmas. Because, because there is one criticism, it doesn't come in enough shades and they know that and they are working on it. Yeah. So it's going the darker spectrum, is it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And um, that's a really nice thing as well that they're listening, you know, yeah. and every time they get the feedback, they're acting on it. So it's a nice um, way to work, I think. Can you hear the really inconsiderate people walking up and down? I know. Do they I not know we've got a serious discussion going on? Do they on not in know here? we're starting a beauty revolution in I here? I know, and this revolution is going to continue with Bobby Brown Fresh Melon. Is that what you've got on your cheeks? Yeah, so I don't know if you follow um, Amy Conway or Hannah Martin from Bobby Brown. They are the loveliest girls. They Hannah just Martin do... taught me to tight line. Oh, there we go. Um, they love this, this particular shade of Pot Rouge. Um, Pot Rouge is great because you can use it on your cheeks and your lips. Um, but this one is a fresh, dewy coral that just makes your skin look brighter. If you're tired and you put a bit of that on, really wakes you up. That kind of coral shade just illuminates everything the right way. Do you think it suits all skin tones or is it better for lighter skin tones? I'd probably say for lighter skin tones it's going to be more noticeable because it's quite bright okay. but i would say for every what shade would tone, you choose for say naomi campbell or somebody that color i would definitely still do a coral but more of a where that's kind of a peachy coral i'd go for like a vivid oh, cool. orange coral okay. so that it really gives that flush okay. um that'll be amazing for her oh, are you going to scare me with highlighter yes and i could talk about this highlighter all day i could talk about all of the becca illuminators 28 year olds and highlighters go on so the becca what is it actually called the shimmering skin perfecter right 
They have a patented technology on this. So this is layers of liquid and powder, and it just gives oh, I'm just a about to stick my grubby go finger on, in. Stick it. Your grubby no, finger I can't in. stick my grubby you finger can, in your you gorgeous can. highlighter. That goes everywhere, and it's had all sorts of grubby fingers in it. I just love it. Um, they do this in lots of right, different shades. Honestly, the most gentle bit of this. I'm just gonna go super soft. You can, I don't know if you can see, but it's almost, I don't wanna say foiled, but it looks like naturally fresh, dewy skin. I'm it doesn't look like a you, weird you, stripe. You felt a wrinkled old skin like that, eh? Nadine, I don't know what wrinkled old skin you're talking to me about, but it's not the skin I'm working with right now. Can I just say Just do one well? side, and then we'll show, see if everybody can see the difference. Nadine's been hosting, um, panel discussions today with some of the female brand founders. I made people and I cry. Just, you did actually. In a, it's just in been a good a big, way. It's been a big girl power day. It is honestly I'm full of beans. Alison Hogg from Vita She's Liberata. Amazing. amazing. Sonia from um, Pestle and Mortar. Margaret from Oranovitska and Claire from Balance Me. I had to go and individually cuddle them all when I'd compose myself because they were very good. Look Instagram. at this. Not Instagram, Instagram. Can you actually see the difference? Absolutely. Like, in real life, the camera man just you just look well lit, well slept, everything. But of all the highlighters, I'd really encourage everyone to start with this. This particular shade is Champagne Pop, which I think a it's lot a of people's suit. intro to Becca is Champagne Pop. I also think, I do think if you air on the side of Peach, Yes. If you get the depth of colour, it does suit all skin tones. Well, Victoria Beckham, when she did her Modern Mercury with Estee Lauder, that was rose gold because she said, obviously, she loved that product for years. But you she said it's. Are accusing Victoria every... Beckham of stealing somebody's product idea? No, it was. Um, it was the original Estee Lauder Modern Mercury. Yeah. She loved it so much, it was discontinued. She used to buy it on eBay, she said. And um, when they approached her about the collaboration, she said, no, this has to come back. Oh, really? So but it wasn't she... a Becca product? Oh, no, no. Is Becca now owned by Estee Lauder? Did you know that? What I was going to say about the link was she used um, a rose gold highlighter colour because that kind of tone suits every Everybody. skin tone. Yeah. I always think of you, even though your name is Rose, as being rose gold i just like rosy tones that little bit of warmth makes blue pop it makes brown look a bit warmer it makes green really pop like i was funnily enough talking about um bridal beauty on a panel last week and i just said to everyone whatever your makeup look is that you've got in mind choose a slightly rosier golden version of it mm. and that will make everything this is going to be so good when she does i'm literally going to take wait. all I my makeup off wait. and we will do it we will film it scratch. and also can i just say because she did mention it first and then my challenge back to rose because i saw her with no makeup on yeah is she's got early stage rosacea and i'm going to cure her rosacea i'm not i mean and good skincare is so she basically talked me through everything that would be perfect for my skin and it was probably the polar opposite of everything I lived Guess doing. Guess what? She's using essential oil rich balm oh, cleansers. And I love them, I absolutely love them. And then them. layering on really rich essential oil based moisturisers. Challenge accepted, I'm going to give it a go, I'm going to listen, the oracle has spoken and we will see what position we're in in a few weeks. Yeah. Go on, um, more. Right. We've got two more. Two more. We can run through this one really quickly yeah. because I love We're it. We're all obsessed with it. Cosmetic superhero mascara. mascara stripper lash. To be honest, I love fake lashes. Wear them all the time, so it takes a lot. I haven't got them on today. Well, this is it. I haven't got them on today. It takes a lot for me to get excited about a mascara because I'm usually just going to put a set of lashes on. But I feel confident to just wear that with no lashes. No, I know. I, I love. love it. It. I love a stripper love lash. Love it. Um, that also has biotin in it, and it grows your lashes. With everywhere. Not there applied topically, it doesn't. Oh, to really? Ingest, you have to ingest it. Well, we'll agree to disagree on that one. Okay. And we'll move on to our long con. We will. Absolute I'm lap old enough to be a mum. <laughs> go on. Right, these. And also they go love, on like a glass. I also love the fact that your entire generation is obsessed with matte lips and you love a glass. Because oh. I love a glass. It goes on. Really full pigment. And that won't move now for the day. And I know that sounds silly, long but it won't. What? Long and it stays glossy. Labs, stays glossy, stays pigmented, loads of nice colours. The darker ones, the pinky reds, will kind of stain your lips as well. So 
you know, a few hours, a couple of glasses of wine in, What's you've it still called? got Lampong? something on. Labsalu. Labsalu lacquer. Lacquer. I okay. think and it's one of their newest. That is 202, which is a pinky nude that is lovely for everyone. Okay. So they are essentially your. That's when this comes out in five on the extra shades, yeah. that's your, they pretty much suit everybody. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And she did come in virtually with a carrier bag full of makeup. Yeah. She loves a makeup. Yeah, so, uh, okay. where my challenge is accepted with the skincare, Nadine's is accepted with a loads of highlighter makeover. False lashes, highlighter, works. contour. Yeah. It's going to be bedlam. <laughs> it's going to be beauty. <laughs> thank you for watching thank you for subscribing i'm going to put the details of mixed gems beauty below but i'll also put it across the screen because you need to follow her because i love skincare makeup i don't know that much about you need to follow makeup obsessives and she is absolutely lovely and everybody in the industry has got a big crush on her so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing i'll put all the details of the products down below and we will see you soon she will take all her makeup off and then she will put all my makeup on